Now folks, the cornerstone of a good EDC kit begins with a torch, a light source, either a headlamp or a flashlight. That light source has to be of the highest of quality, has to be trustworthy, dependable, has to offer you good performance, good battery life. My name is Luke, this is the Outdoor Gear Review, and right here I have the Phoenix PD35 Flashlight V2. This is the digital camo version, and this is a perfect example of a fantastic light source. This is an awesome torch, and the review begins now. Now folks, when it comes to the PD35 flashlight, this baby runs $75 at the time of filming on the Phoenix website. The retail price of this is 110 bucks. When it comes to the weight, you are looking at 4.6 ounces with an 18650 battery. You can find this in two different colors, black and the digital camo, which you see here. The solid black version is cheaper by a few bucks. When it comes to the length, you are looking at 5.4 inches long. It has a body diameter of roughly one inch, and the head is one inch as well. Waterproof to two meters, drop resistant to one meter. This is IP68 rated, and runs on one 18650 battery or two CR123A batteries. With my testing, I have found that an 18650 battery works the best with this flashlight, and it does give you an additional benefit, which I will talk about later. Might as well do a very quick unboxing for you. Now with this package here, you get the flashlight, you do not get any batteries, so you have to supply your own battery. Now, I have used this flashlight quite a bit, so the packaging is torn up. Everything here with the Outdoor Gear Review is fully trailed tested. So you get some sort of advertisement, warranty card, there's the packaging and all that good stuff. Here's some information about the flashlight itself. You get a holster, you receive a lanyard, two O-rings, an additional tail switch, and a pocket clip. Now with the flashlight itself, as mentioned, no battery is included. Very, very good threads, made from aluminum. This flashlight is turned on by the tail switch. Then you have the side button to go through the different modes. Eco, low, middle, high, turbo, hold it down for strobe. Super, super simple. Now when it comes to a good quality flashlight, for me personally, I like it to be very simple. And that is exactly what this flashlight is. It's very simple. You turn it on, you cycle through the modes. If you want the strobe mode, you hold it down, that's it. It's not complicated, it simply works. With my testing, this flashlight definitely works. No issues at all that I can report. The quality is excellent. Fit and finish is excellent. Feels very, very good in the hand as well. I love that camo pattern. The digital camo really, really looks good. And it gives this flashlight a different sort of feel. You won't notice it with your gloves on, but when your hands are on this, yeah, it feels really, really good. Since I've begun with the pros, let's continue on with that thread. Excellent price, in my opinion, if you can find this on sale. Finding this on sale is going to be nice and easy because it's on sale all over the place all the time. You can find this on Amazon, the Phoenix Store, other websites. You could get this for around 75 bucks, anytime, all day long. At that price, the value here is very, very competitive compared to what's out on the market. This flashlight does feature a battery power indicator, so you can turn on the torch, Right here on this switch, it glows, and it essentially tells you how much juice is left in the battery. If it's constant green, that means it's charged. If it's green and flashing, that means that it's sufficient. If it's red constant, that means the battery's getting drained. And if it's red and flashing, it's just about dead. On turbo mode, it offers plenty of power. On high, it does as well. There's good stepping between each of the modes. Battery life is very, very good. I've had no issues in regards to that. Speaking of which, with an 18650 3500 battery, you can expect two hours and 50 minutes of runtime on turbo. That will shine the beam 250 meters. On high, you are looking at five hours, 10 minutes. And that throws roughly 157 meters. Medium, 12 hours, 25 minutes. That throws roughly 103 meters. On low, 29 hours, 60 meters. Eco mode, 430 hours, 13 meters. And then of course the strobe mode, that's roughly two hours, 50 minutes as well with my testing. A moment ago, I recommended that you run 18650 batteries with this flashlight. And that's because if you run CR123A batteries, the power indicator does not work. So you have to have those 18650 batteries to power that function. In my opinion, it is well worth it. 
18650 batteries are inexpensive, they last for bloody ever, and they offer you very good performance. Now when it comes to negatives, cons, this flashlight has two that we need to talk about. First off, it is not compatible with all 18650 batteries. So if you have an 18650 battery that has a flat top, it will not work in this flashlight. Next up, there is no quick access to turbo. So you can't turn it on and like double tap to go to turbo. You simply have to go through the modes. Both of those issues are very minor. What I like about this flashlight really is that it's just a simple, hard working flashlight. It's bright, the performance is good, battery life is great, fit, finish, excellent. This will last you a very long time. In fact, I've been using this for over three months now and I have no real complaints. It's simple, bright, efficient, and the price is good. What else can you say about it? Pocket clip works just fine. As you can see, it's a pretty good carry. I've been using the holster and have not been using the pocket clip all that much, but it's a good quality pocket clip. I expect no issues from it. The holster itself is good quality, very simple. It works. There's nothing really to talk here about other than the fact that it does not match the camo flashlight at all. Phoenix went through the trouble of doing the camo, but we get a green holster. Or is that Coyote? It's right there in the middle. It could be either one. Without a doubt, I recommend this flashlight if you're in the market for a good flashlight. Of course, with the Outdoor Gear Review, this channel is 100% agenda free. No store, no kickbacks, nothing like that. I'm simply passing on my thoughts so you can make the best decision with your money. If you guys have any questions for me, make sure to email me. Comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you think about Phoenix flashlights? Have you had any issues? What are the pros and cons that you have observed? If you have the PD35 V2, what are your thoughts on it? Everybody take care, strength and honor. Bye guys.